Friends, have you ever wondered why India has such a diverse climate? A question worth pondering upon. The answer lies in the vast geographical diversity of this country. Stretching from the lofty Himalayas in the north to the sun-drenched coastal villages of the south, India's dramatic terrain is breathtaking. This topographical diversity gives India a unique climate diversity. From the tropical monsoon climate experienced in the lush, green south to the temperate climate of the northern regions, each part of India has something different to offer. The tropical monsoon climate of the south is characterized by heavy rainfall during the monsoon season, while the northern regions experience a temperate climate where summers are warm and winters can be quite cold. I am Dr. M. N. Suvaze, Honorable Sri Anasaheb Danje College, Hatkanangela, and we are going to explore the seasons and associated weather conditions in India. Friends, before proceeding, if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe it. Friends, as we discussed, this intriguing variation in climate across the country is a result of its geographical breadth and multiple environmental influences. So buckle up as we delve deeper into the factors affecting India's climate. As we move forward, we will delve deeper into the factors affecting India's climate. What makes India's climate so diverse? Let's explore. India, a land of climatic extremes, owes its diverse weather patterns to several geographical and atmospheric factors. A key player is the Himalayas, the world's highest mountain range. Not only do they act as a barrier against frigid winds from Central Asia, but they also trap the monsoon winds, forcing them to shed their moisture within the Indian subcontinent. This results in varying degrees of rainfall across different regions, from the torrential downpours in Meghalaya to the scanty rains in Rajasthan. Speaking of Rajasthan, the Thar Desert also plays a significant role in India's climate. Its scorching heat creates low pressure areas during summers drawing in moisture-laden winds from the Indian Ocean and triggering the onset of the monsoon. Now, let's talk about the Indian Ocean. It has a profound influence on India's climate. The southwest monsoon winds originate from here, carrying moisture that drenches the subcontinent from June to September. The ocean's warm currents also ensure a mild winter for the coastal regions. Altitude is another factor. If you've ever visited the hills of Shimla or the valleys of Leh, you'll know how temperatures can plummet with increasing altitude. This is why these regions experience chilly winters and mild summers, a stark contrast to the scorching heat of the plains. The distance from the sea also impacts the climate. Regions closer to the sea, like Mumbai or Chennai, have a maritime climate with less variation in temperature and higher humidity. In contrast, the interiors of the country, like Delhi or Lucknow, experience a continental climate with extreme temperature variations. Lastly, the direction of monsoon winds shapes India's climate. The southwest monsoon winds bring the majority of India's rainfall, while the northeast monsoon winds, although less in intensity, are crucial for the precipitation received by the southeastern coast. Now that we understand the factors, let's look at how these affect the seasons in India. India, unlike many other countries, experiences four distinct seasons. A rich tapestry of climate changes, each season in India carries its own charm and significance, transforming the landscape and impacting the lifestyles of its people. Our first stop is winter, which stretches from December to February. These months bring a welcome respite from the heat as the mercury dips, especially in the northern parts of the country. The chill of winter paints the landscapes with misty mornings and crisp sunsets, while the southern regions enjoy mild and pleasant weather. As we bid adieu to winter, we welcome the warmth of summer, which rains from March to May. The heat intensifies, particularly in the central and northern regions, with temperatures soaring high. Though the heat might seem harsh, it brings with it a riot of colors as trees and flowers bloom in full glory. The summer is also when the country celebrates some of its most vibrant festivals, like Holi, the Festival of Colors, and Baisakhi, the Harvest Festival. Next, we journey into the monsoon season from June to September. 
the rains arrive like clockwork, providing much needed relief from the scorching heat. The monsoons are not just about rain, they are a lifeline for the agriculture-dependent economy of India. The downpour turns the country into a lush green paradise, marking a time of renewal and growth. Finally, we arrive at the post-monsoon season, also known as autumn, which graces October and November. This season acts as a bridge between the wet monsoon and the cool winter. The skies clear up and the weather becomes dry. The trees shed their leaves, preparing for the coming winter, and the landscapes take on a golden hue. Each of these seasons brings its own unique characteristics and changes to the climate. In India, every season is a celebration, a spectacle of nature's grandeur, and a testament to the country's incredible climatic diversity. Let's start with winter and summer, two contrasting seasons. The beauty of India's climate lies in its diversity, and these two seasons are perfect examples of that. Winter in India, typically starting in late November and extending until February, is characterized by a significant drop in temperature, especially in the northern regions. In the northern plains, the mercury often dips below 5 degrees Celsius, with cities like Delhi and Amritsar frequently wrapped in dense fog. The Himalayan region, on the other hand, transforms into a snowy wonderland, with temperatures plunging well below freezing. The southern and coastal regions, however, experience milder winters with temperatures hovering around 20 degrees Celsius. The days are short and the nights are long and chilly. The winter season also brings with it a host of vibrant festivals and holidays, making it a time of celebration and joy across the country. Now, let's turn the heat up and move on to summer. Summer in India typically starts in March and lasts until June. This season is marked by soaring temperatures and intense dry heat, especially in the central and northern regions. The Thar Desert in Rajasthan, for instance, sees temperatures that can reach up to 50 degrees Celsius. The days are long, the sun is intense and the heat can often be relentless. However, the coastal regions and the hills provide respite with their relatively cooler and pleasant climate. Summer also marks the ripening of numerous fruits, turning the country into a veritable fruit basket. Mangoes, watermelons, lychees, you name it, and it's probably in season. The summer heat also paves the way for the monsoons, as the high temperatures lead to the evaporation of water setting the stage for the upcoming rains. So, there you have it. Winter and summer. Two seasons that couldn't be more different. From the chilly winter nights, wrapped in blankets and sipping cups of hot chai, to the sweltering summer afternoons, spent under the shade of a tree with a juicy mango in hand, every season in India has its own charm and character. From chilling cold to scorching heat, India's climate swings between extremes. But what about the monsoon and autumn? Monsoon and autumn, two seasons that bring relief and change to the Indian landscape. Let's delve into the unique characteristics of these seasons, starting with the monsoon. Monsoon, typically stretching from June to September, is defined by its heavy rainfall. This is due to the southwest monsoon winds, a major weather phenomenon that drives the climate of the Indian subcontinent. These winds originate over the warm, tropical Indian Ocean, gathering moisture as they move towards land. Upon encountering the western Ghats and the Himalayan mountain ranges, these moisture-laden winds are forced upwards. The increase in altitude cools the winds, causing the moisture they carry to condense and fall as rain. This process, known as orographic rainfall, is responsible for the torrential downpours that are a hallmark of the Indian monsoon. The monsoon season is a time of rejuvenation for the land and its people. It fills reservoirs, rivers and wells, ensuring a supply of water for the year ahead. The rains also bring relief from the intense heat of the preceding summer, transforming parched landscapes into lush green vistas. However, the monsoon is not without its challenges. Excessive rainfall can lead to flooding and landslides, often resulting in loss of life and property. Despite these challenges, the monsoon is eagerly awaited each year, for the life-giving water it brings is vital for agriculture. 
which is a significant part of the Indian economy. Following the monsoon is the season of autumn, sometimes referred to as the post-monsoon or retreating monsoon season. Occurring around October and November, autumn serves as a transition period from the heavy rains of the monsoon to the dry chill of the approaching winter. Autumn in India is characterized by moderate temperatures and little rainfall. The skies clear up and the humidity drops, making the weather quite pleasant. The landscape invigorated by the monsoon, is a riot of colors, with trees shedding their leaves in preparation for the winter. The autumn season is also marked by several festivals, including the popular Diwali, the festival of lights. The pleasant weather and festive atmosphere make autumn a favorite season for many, and that's how the seasons cycle in India, each with its own charm and challenges. From the refreshing downpours of the monsoon to the serene beauty of autumn, the Indian climate presents a fascinating study in contrasts, a testament to the country's rich diversity. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe this channel for enjoy such informative videos.